Despite his humble beginnings, he became a key figure in transforming how people and goods move around the world. He was a true genius who revolutionized transportation, making it faster and more affordable. It is not by coincidence he is referred to as the father of modern railways. Welcome to Personality Matters, the channel where we explore how people impacted the world. Today we will be talking about George Stevenson. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. In the early 19th century, George Stevenson worked as a coilery engineer in a coal mining region of Northern England, where he gained recognition for his engineering skills. During this time, transporting coal was a significant challenge, as it typically relied on horses or stationary engines, which were slow and inefficient. Stevenson aimed to develop a powerful locomotive capable of moving heavy coal loads along tracks. At that time, there was already a locomotive designed by an engineer Richard Trevithick for this purpose. However, it had practical limitations. It faced challenges with adhesion and frequently slipped on the rails, partly because it was heavy and used smooth wheels on smooth rails without maximizing traction. In contrast, Stevenson's locomotive, called Bludger, was the first locomotive specifically designed with adhesion in mind, making it more effective in gripping the rails to pull loads. It successfully hauled multiple coal wagons. The Bludger transported eight loaded wagons of 30 tons at 4 miles per hour, a significant achievement that demonstrated the feasibility of steam locomotion for industrial use. Stevenson improved upon existing designs by incorporating flanged wheels, which helped the engine grip the rails more effectively, allowing to work purely through adhesion without slipping. Basically, the Blurcher was the first commercially viable locomotive and it marked the beginning of the end for horsepower. It was named after a famous Prussian general who marched his troops at a great speed across Europe to help fight with Napoleon at Waterloo. The Blurcher led to further developments and Stevenson was soon asked to engineer a railway that would eventually become the Stockton and Darlington Railway, the world's first public railway powered by steam locomotives. In 1825, Stevenson's locomotion No. 1 made history as it carried both passengers and goods over a 25-mile track, opening a new era in public transportation. But perhaps his most famous achievement was a locomotive called Rocket. It was built in 1829 with his son Robert Stevenson. It gained fame as the winner of the Rainhill Trials, a competition that was held to determine the best locomotive for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, the world's first intercity passenger railway. The Rocket won because of its innovative and efficient design, which made it faster and more reliable than its competitors. During the competition, it reached speeds up to 30 miles per hour and demonstrated that rail travel could be an excellent means of transportation. One of Rocket's most notable innovations was its multi-tube boiler, which increased heating efficiency, allowing it to generate more steam and therefore more power. The Rocket also had improved cylinders and pistons angled at 35 degrees, reducing wear and increasing stability at higher speeds. Anyway, the triumph of the Rocket set the standard for future steam locomotives and led to the widespread adoption of rail transport across Britain and eventually the world. Thank you for watching Personality Matters, we talk about people who made the world, until next time. I am Arthur Kemps.